security services. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dad Rail 1066 Hastings to Charing Cross stream. We will be starting in 9 minutes when the station clock says 2030. Have your drinks and light refreshments ready, we'll be on our way soon. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we will be starting this stream in around about six minutes' time when the station clock says 20.30. Please have your drinks and light refreshments ready, starting in six minutes.
ladies and gentlemen, we will be starting in around about four minutes' time. Four minutes' time for the Dadra stream on the 1066 Hastings to Charing Cross Line. Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at all stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. is a safety announcement. It is not permitted to cycle, skateboard, or rollerblade within the station building. How are we all doing tonight? Great to be here. I am on my own. I do not have Tommy with me. 
Um, and I promise that it is me on the keyboard this time, <laughs> pressing all the right buttons. If this is the first video you've seen by me, my name is Richard, and I am a mainline freight train driver based in the southeast of England, and a former passenger train driver. Talking of being a former passenger train driver, when I was a passenger train driver, my main route that I used to drive was Hastings to Charing Cross, which has been recreated uh, quite a few years ago on Train Simulator, but recently the, the extension from... Hastings to Tunbridge has been on Train Simulator for a little while, but uh, Tunbridge to Charing Cross has recently been added. So we're going to do the whole route. Hastings up to Charing Cross on a Class 375. Before we jump in, guys, I've got to tell you all the views and opinions expressed within this stream are sold on my own, may not affect those many companies I may be employed by or associated with, and all of that great stuff. We will be having Locomotive Livery Location in this stream. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Picture from Network Panda, who didn't get a fair go last time because of my incompetence, should we put it that way? So, uh, Network Panda, you have got the picture for locomotive delivery location today. And if everything's working as it should be, we should see a game on the stream. We'll also be jumping in and out the Discord server live stream pictures page. Okay, so I know someone's going to ask me about AP packs, um, and rightly so. I don't have the AP375 or, or some of the other AP packs, unfortunately. I will be getting them. Um, Northern Princess Productions has very kindly created me quite a few custom scenarios for this route. Um, being that I used to sign as a passenger driver, so I, I do know it quite well. Um, however, it's I've spent about £30, £35 pounds today to get the route to work. So I couldn't justify spending any more money to Mumrail to get the AP stuff. So I will be doing this with the AP stuff. Um, just not yet. Hopefully, hopefully next week um, with some uh, really good scenarios that have been created. So let's click on drive. I've been told I've got to be quiet. Everyone's gone to bed. It's late. Oh, Northern Princess Production is in the stream. Hello. Yes, I'm really looking forward once I get the AP stuff um, next week to having a play of, of some of your scenarios. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to do this in two sections as well. We're going to have to do this as a Hastings to Tunbridge um, and then Tunbridge up to Charing Cross. I'm thinking that should work. Uh, why is it not showing up in my route options? Because I've got a 323 selected. Let's change the train. We're going to do a 375. Because that is what I used to drive on the route. Um, will it show up now? 1066 lot. Oh no, I need to be in quick drive. My bad, my bad, my bad. There we go. 375 Electra Star. We'll do an 8 car. Uh, free car, free car, free car, free car. Where's the eight cars? Uh, dark blue eight car. No, I want a white one. Grey and yellow, grey and yellow. I can see everything except eight. Typical. I can't find 375601 in there. Um, there we go. 375, it's a 6, anyway, it might be 601, the one that I famously smashed up. Um, 8 card grey and yellow. And we'll do Hastings Platform 4 up to Tunbridge. Spring, cloudy, 12 o'clock. Let's go. For the sake of the scenario, we're going to say we're doing an all-station service up to Tunbridge, so we will be Hastings, St. Leonard's Warrior Square, West St. Leonard's, Crowhurst, Battle, Robertsbridge, Etchingham, Stonegate, Wadhurst, Frant, Tunbridge Wells, High Brooms, Tunbridge. We will then change the route to the network southeast. We will then be doing Seven Oaks, Orpington, London Bridge, Waterloo East, and London at Charing Cross. Takes about uh, an hour and 40 minutes altogether. So, 121 of you lovely people in, if you haven't already, please do hit that like button, consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. So, as a lot of you know, this is a freeware route for train sim. Um, you do need a few requirements in order to get it to work. Very uh, big thank you to Northern Princess Productions who did provide me with a North Somerset line, which was one of the requirements. So uh, thank you very much for that. Um, amongst other things that Northern Princess Productions gifted me, that's uh, very much appreciated. So I'm, like I said, I used to drive this route. This was my main route. So any any criticism I give of the route is purely meant in the constructive sense. Anyone that gives up their time to create a route like this and doesn't charge for it, you know, they deserve top marks for anything they create. So it's, pure, it's purely just from a, sort of my perspective rather than from a, a being critical perspective. Right, just confirming, we have got eight coaches. This is Hastings. This is not quite where I live, but 
close enough to where I live. Into forward. Okay, let's get some HUD going on. Uh, it's not going to let me open doors and stuff like that, is it? That's annoying. Okay, so we are we are doing pretending. <laughs> Jonathan, does it have a pantograph? Yeah, 6 Series does have a pantograph as it goes. Um, okay, so we got a green. We are off. I'm going to turn the HUD off. Now, in theory, I should be able to do this HUD list. Now, it's worth remembering... 15 out of Hastings, got a green. It's worth remembering this route is based in 1980-something, and I drove the route in the 2000s, so the route would have changed quite significantly. Uh, yeah, Jonathan, I have got the signal enhancement pack, the sky enhancement pack, and the track enhancement pack. Not the 375 yet, but that is coming. So we are 15 mile an hour leaving Hastings. Press T for doors. I was pressing T, but I'm in quick drive, so I don't know whether it was uh, was working. DT trains, not Malvin Way. No, I, I do not live in Malvin Way. Okay, so that's the first thing that's slightly different now. Um, we've got a 30. This is Hastings Tunnel. Uh, in real life, this is 45. You get a 30 warning board, then it's 45 through this tunnel. And this tunnel is dead straight. You can see it's on a slight curve here. In real life, this is dead straight. So we'll go by what the game says. 30. Uh, it should be as long as your platform markers are set up. Uh, I didn't set anything up. I've just jumped straight into quick drive, um, Northern Princess. We're just, we're just playing pretend. Uh, do you have lights on? Good point. No, I don't. That's it. Sacked. Tea and biscuits already. So, Hastings Tunnel, into St. Leonard's Warriors Square. We're an eight-car train heading for the eight-car mark. If I have tea and biscuits on this route, I'm in serious trouble. Um, DT trains, yeah, all trains on the Hastings line do normally have a guard on them. And there is the S car mark. Am I in brake step two? There we go, I need to hold it. A on the S. Oh no, doors are working. Okay, fair enough. Um, that's a bit weird. We're in a 375, aren't we? Not a 377. Yeah, 375s don't have door cameras. Okay, fair enough. Hey, TR9, how are we doing, bud? We've got a green. Going into Bo Peep Tunnel. 30 mile an hour in this tunnel. The way we'd normally drive this is accelerate to 25, shut off power, and let it roll. The train would naturally roll up to 30. As soon as you hit the AWS magnet, drop it into brake step one, which will bring you down for 20 across the junction. So there we are, shutting off at 25. Let's see how it rolls. Nathan's Trains and Roblox, would you ever go back to passenger driving? Uh, yeah, it's not, not kind of on my radar at the moment, Nathan, but I, I definitely wouldn't say no. Um, I did enjoy passenger train driving. It wasn't something that, that I sort of grew to hate or anything like that. Um, I just kind of wanted to explore new areas of the railway. So I'm, I'm very happy where I am at the moment. But yeah, something I something I would consider doing again in the future. Um, as you can see, our speed is decreasing at the moment. So in real life, this tunnel's on a slight downhill gradient. So we'll give it a little bit of power. Drive it like you stole it, London Underground, says uh, Poem Potato. Uh, Dovetail didn't bother to make a new cab for the 375. Doesn't sound like something Dovetail would do. Yeah, George, so the uh, sixes and sevens are the older Electra Star, so they have the older style headlights, but the eights and nines are the newer ones. Um, so they have the kind of the bigger LED style headlights. Next station is West St. Leonard's, which is my local station. Step one at the magnet brings us down for the 20 across Bo Peep Junction. 
little bit of people's lost a sheep. Yeah, the cash. I, I drove the Hastings to all service quite a few times and the auto Charing Cross service. I, I've driven that one numerous times. So that says 25. In real life, this is a 20 across this junction. Um, there's no curve to the left here as well. The junction is perfectly straight and then round to the right uh, into the station. That signal there as well, you'd also get a, um, an M on that signal. But like I say, this is based in 1980-something, so uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's reasonable to assume that things have changed a little bit. So we're an 8 car off to the 8. This is West St. Leonard's. We're speeding as well. Speeding by modern standards, but not by simulator standards. And I've got some good braking points all the way up here. So, uh, like I say, this is, this is genuinely my first playthrough of the route. I drove it as far as West St. Leonard's earlier on to kind of just check it was working. Um, but this is my first playthrough. Right, we are 8 on the 8, doors on the left. Yep, it's not letting me have doors there. Okay, we'll just pretend. Oh, that's horrible. That should be a ding ding. Okay, so that says 40 there. Um, this would be 25 in real life. It's 20 across the junction, then 25 through the platform. The 40 doesn't start till you get up around the corner. Uh, D trains. M would have stood for main. If you're going up the main line towards Tunbridge Wells, you get an M. If you're going towards Bex Hill on the branch, you get a B. So 25 all through here. You have got Filsham Valley School or St. Leonard's Academy as it's now known over to your left. Whistleboard. This is South Saxons foot crossing coming up. Uh, this is now an overbridge and I can, a little, little snippet of information. This is now a footbridge and I can see that footbridge from my bedroom window. <laughs> so we're near to where I live. So the 40 starts just around the corner here in real life. Um, this is an uphill gradient as well. Sandbrooks, what routes did you sign at South Eastern? So Hastings to Charing Cross and Cannon Street. Um, a London Bridge via Red Hill. I had a short period of signing Tunbridge to Ashford. Um, and also Charing Cross via Batten Ball, Swanley, St Mary Cray, and then back up on the Chiselhurst Loop. And also ran via Lewisham. So the 60s, the 60s is about where it is in real life. I think the 60s is further towards Hastings in real life. Um, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And we've got a whistleboard there for Grove Foot Crossing. Low tone only between the hours of 0600 and midnight. Incidentally, the whistleboards on this foot crossing have now been removed. Grove Foot Crossing. It's quite a nice spotting location. Jude, have I ever driven a 395? I started my driving career on the railway at Ashford as a shunt driver. So yes, I used to sign 395s as a uh, as a shunt as a depot driver. Uh, Dabrow, this does not sound like the AP. It's not the AP, Max. That'll be why. Yeah, Billy Games for a. Uh, like I say, I haven't driven the full route yet, but from, from what I've seen, it's, it's pretty accurate. And, you know, anyone that gives up their time to, to build a freeware route, puts that much time and effort into it, certainly deserves a, a bit of kudos, uh, kudos for, for sure. Nathan, my day's been interesting um, with the Fortnite stream beforehand. That's uh, <laughs> certainly a funny thing. Okay, that signal's not there in real life. In real life, we'd be coming up now on the left-hand side, you'd have Green Street TP Hut. Yeah, Max, that's probably why the bell doesn't sound good. So, yeah, you have Green Street TP Hut coming up on your left-hand side. Uh, we're straightening up, and then we get three bridges in a row. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. We don't have the right amount of bridges. We're not going to criticise little things like that. We're going to... 
completely hub, let's drive the route. Our next station stop is Crowhurst. Uh, yes, see, I have Intercity 225. You're completely correct. Uh, this little bridge coming up here would be my breaking point for Crowhurst. Let's get break step one in there. And there it is, Crowhurst. Uh, Gregory, I'm still none the wiser about Fortnite. No, neither am I. I was, uh, for those of you that didn't watch it, I was trolling you all. <laughs> it was fun, though. We should have got a victory royale in that first match. That would have been pretty epic. But there we go. We'll say no more about it. Into Crowhurst. Full of scrap in the middle. Used to be... Crowhurst used to be a massive station, as you can see, with a big gap in the middle. Um, used to have through lines here. There used to be a branch as well that went off to Bexhill West. This is on a slight uphill gradient in real life. Looks like it is just after the platform. A on the 8. Bravo Juliet. 440 signal. Eight on the eight. Doors on the left. Is it going to let me have the doors? It is. It didn't let me have them at Warrior Scare, but it's letting me have them here. Okie dokie, guys. Locomotive delivery location. Bowen Potato number five. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. If you've not seen this game before, guys, I'm going to give you box number five. You've got ten seconds to give me the locomotive livery and location. <laughs> Yeah, DT Trench, you're quite right. A bit like Cheen, where the fast lines have also been removed. We've got a green. We are 60 all the way through here. Next stop on this service will be Battle. Uh, Maxwell 375 West St. Leonard's. Glasgow Central, says Jonathan. DT, no clue. A pole. Right arrow. Richard, in your opinion, what British trainer has the best horn? Oh. I've just pressed H for horn and turned my headlights off, haven't I? So we had Green Street TP Hut. We are now coming up. On the left, we'll have Tellum Substation. There's going to be a very high overbridge coming up on the left called Tellum Heights. Hey, Ollie's Trains Gaming. Hello, how are you doing? I am speeding. Good place to shut off power here as well, just as we come past the substation. Not Teltex. You should try the new Polish train sim, Simrail. Yeah, I, I need to pick that one up. Um, I've said in the previous couple of streams that I've, I played that um, very briefly, had a look at that, uh, the demo of it. But yeah, could certainly do with picking that up. Um, now it's in early access. Good place to break is just by the signal where the line speed goes up to 80. In real life, this is on a downhill gradient. That signal looks like it's a lot further back than what it is in real life. I believe, I, I think, I just feel this signal's further forward now. Because normally, you, once you see the um, the distance signal for battle, you can normally sort of come around the corner by the bridge there. So I haven't put my brakes in quite yet. Yeah, there's the bridge. So we get the brakes in in just a second. I just feel like that signal's a little bit further back than what it is in real life. Um, but of course, like I said, this is based in the 1980s. Uh, 87 or 88 to be precise. Gr uh, crossover at Battle there for turning back um, trains during engineering works. I love the amount, you can tell this is the 80s by the amazing station clocks and the amount of litter by the side of the track as well. And of course the NSE branding, which is lovely. We do like a bit of NSE branding. Battle, there's our 8 car mark. Right on the end of the platform, it's a Bravo Juliet 436 signal. Which is protecting the level crossing ahead, which is Marley Lane level crossing. Eight on the eight. 
It's going to let me have the doors. It's going to let me have the doors. 87 was a great year. 88 was a better year for me. <laughs> uh, Anakin, does your manager watch your train simulator and driving video on YouTube? Not that I'm aware of, Anakin. I think I've seen my manager in one of the streams, but uh, yeah, not that I'm aware of, but who knows? Right, we got a green. We are 80. We are full power. I want to see that signal revert back to danger as per the, uh, the AP signal pack. Is it going to do it? It's not. There we go. Beautiful fade back to danger. So we've just got across Marley Lane level crossing. It is currently 80. The next speed limit change will be 70 and then down to 55. Um, yeah, no, this is this is a free freeware route. It's been out for quite a long time. Um, it's pretty decent. I'd say go and pick it up. Uh, I think you're older than me, aren't you, Sam? Or am I? I'm jumping in on somebody else's conversation now, and I'm only reading half of it in the chat. So, just around the corner here on the right-hand side, you'll have Watlington TP Hut. We'll then get Watlington Viaduct. This is on a downhill gradient as well. Normally, you'd accelerate to about 70-ish, and then the gradient would uh, pick it up to about 80. Uh, Richard, what's your favourite Electrostar, says Jude? I would have to go with... Um, the 375, and that's purely because I spent, spent so long driving it. Richard, you only look 20. Uh, I'm a bit like uh, Tom Scott, I never age. <laughs> you're too kind, you're too kind. Yeah, I've got the Jaffa Cake livery um, SIG, Noah, but for some reason it's not loading up. Um, when it comes into the game, it's the, the train's not there. I don't know what's going on with it. Hey, Sam, your birthday was yesterday. We didn't sing happy birthday to you. I feel like we've cheated you now. Happy birthday to you. No, we won't sing. Come on, guys. Okay, so warning for the 70. You don't get one of those in real life. But again, everything I'm saying is, is obviously... I'm not complaining because it's a freeware route. And I'm, you know, for a freeware route, it's pretty impressive. The 70 starts just on this corner here. We go around the corner... To the left, then we get Battle Road AHB level crossing. Ah, so that's given us a warning for a 50. Um, the speed coming up is 55, and the warn the magnets for the speeds are right where the speeds are, not in advance of them. So I don't know whether that's something that used to happen. Uh, this is River Hall level crossing we're just going over. I don't know if that's something that used to happen, but Certainly now they come in advance. So coming up on the left, we've got Mountfield Sidings. I spend too much of my life in there. So the 55 um, nowadays has already commenced. The 50 starts just there. So the branch to the left goes up to the um, British Gypsum Works at Mountfield. Now that's a three aspect signal. In reality, that's only a two aspect now. And we go into Mountfield Tunnel. I've walked through this tunnel um, a couple of times on a T3 job a little while ago. Interesting, to say the least. Uh, Nathan's Trains. The next stop will be... Robert's Bridge. bridge we're just going under is known as Castle Bridge. Back up to 70. Um, the next change in line speed for us will be 80 um, just before Etchingham. Network Panda, crossing view please, Dadrail. Dadrail, look out for trees. Yeah, that's where I hit my tree at Mountfield there, in the other direction. Uh, Jonathan, no, I haven't tried clearing the game catch. I'll give that a go. Rob's with Racing, I used to live by Tunbridge Station, and I know that route very well. Excellent. 
So this is a dead straight bit of track in real life as well. This this curve is not here. So I'd be looking out for a distant signal. I don't know where my power brake controller is. Yeah, so this is dead straight dead straight track. I'd have a distant signal, which would be my braking point. There's also a foot crossing down here called Glottingham. Um, it's near a plate near Glottingham Manor. So somewhere between the foot crossing and the distant would be my breaking point for Roberts Bridge. So yeah, this is this this doesn't have curves in it. This is dead straight in real life. Uh, crazy plays to Tunbridge is an hour, then it's about another forty minutes up to Charing Cross from there. Uh, the eighty starts just before the platform at Roberts Bridge. I think actually, I think I might have got that wrong. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm completely lost. This doesn't look familiar at all. This bit here does. Uh, we didn't have the foot crossing that I was looking out for or the distance signal that I was looking out for. So I've completely missed my braking point. Uh, 90. So this is now on the up. This is 80 from this point. It's 90 on the down, but 80 on the up. And we are heading for the 8 car mark. Better get some more brake in there. At Roberts Bridge. Roberts Bridge, of course, home now to the Rover Valley Railway, um, which will be linking up to the Kenton East Sussex pretty soon, hopefully. On the platform, please. Eight on the eight. Excellent. Eight cars, eight car mark, platform on the left. It's letting me have doors. Post, Post your, your numbers, numbers now. now. For locomotive livery location. Tea and biscuits, surely. No, no tea and biscuits for that. No tea and biscuits for that. You should go into the pub at Roberts Bridge on the right. That's quite a nice pub, actually. I've, I've been in there before. We had a work social do in there, actually. We got a green. Next station stop on this service will be Etchingham. Uh, Craig! Locomotive livery location, number 13. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Give me number 13, guys, dead centre. <laughs> and location. Oh, we have the side of the train. Everyone's zooming in. Any ideas? Hey, Brent L. Welcome to Devrow. New subscriber. Great to have you here. Richard, you should do a five circle scenario. I've, I think I've only played that route once. I do have it, though. We, we could certainly look at that in a future stream. Um, I am getting quite involved with the AP stuff for a little bit more now as well. So hopefully we can... Uh, hopefully we can certainly look at doing a bit more Train Sim Classic. So we shut off about 65 coming along here. We should get a whistle board in a minute, which is for squibs level crossing. Squibs foot crossing. That is our distance signal. There is squibs level crossing. Looks like GWR 387. And what we're looking out for for our breaking point for Etchingham, there is fr there are three bridges close together and when we see those that is where we put the brakes in they're only tiny little sort of gully bridges they're nothing major they might not be modeled on here uh, doesn't look like they are so we're going to use this one here we'll drop the brake in there for etching and we might be a little bit early by simulation standards in real life that's about where i'd be getting the brake in um, you'd have a banner repeater coming around here. That signal box is no longer there either. That That is also gone. And there is a signal before the level crossing here. Are we going to do this? <laughs> this could end badly. I'm putting the HUD up so I can see how fast the train's going. Miles too slow. Yeah. 
Full service braking, that's not good. As long as the doors are on the platform. Has he kind of done like an SDO thing where it hasn't opened the doors on the front coach? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Denver, do you prefer the 375 or 377? Um, the thing I like most about the 377 is the driver's seats on it are very, very comfortable. They've got really nice driver's seats. I overshot the signal. Ah, we're on the platform. There isn't a signal there in real life. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Hey, Glitch Creeper, how are we doing? So I've got an interlock light, but it looks like my door lights are still illuminated as well. No, we're off. Next station stop will be Stonegate. Nathan's Train says PTG Rail hasn't uploaded in ages. Uh, Mr. Quicko Gaming, locomotive location delivery is a man and a train. CEO, what if you were in the front coach and wanted to get off and you couldn't be bothered moving? Ah, you can go to the next station. Thomas, how does SDO work? Are there lasers on the doors or something? Um, SDO actually works by GPS. It's not a particularly reliable system, Thomas. Um, so basically, the, the GPS knows what station you're at, but it doesn't know that you're stopped in the correct point on the platform. So, for example, all the light, all the... the um, all the stations on the Hastings line are eight carriages, bar Crowhurst, which is 12, but it only opens eight all the same. Um, so there are only eight carriages. If you come up here with an eight-carriage train, at every station it will open all eight carriages. But the GPS, Forge Farm level crossing passing over now, but the um, GPS doesn't know that you're stopped in the correct, pl the correct position on the platform. It's not that sensitive. So if you've got an eight-car train and you stop on the four-car mark, the GPS sees that you're at station X. It, it knows that it can hold eight coaches. So it will open all eight coaches. It's not sensitive enough to know that it should only be opening um, four because you're stopped in the wrong place. Let's jump quickly over to the Discord server as Max has been waiting so patiently. Someone has posted the um, signaling diagrams there for Bow Peep Junction. Excellent. The uh, looks like the Sussex route maps. So we are just coming up to... No worries, Sam. Have a good shift, bud. We're just coming up to Terz's TP hut on the left-hand side. Um, this would only be 80 in real life. It's quite a steep uphill gradient. And this is Crowhurst Bridge AHB level crossing. Um, which is nowhere near Crowhurst. If you have seen... If you have seen my video uh, where I do a car that nearly gets hit by a train when the level crossing is not working, that's where it was filmed. This is Millard's foot crossing. Millard's. Hey, Reggie's transport videos. Hello. Yeah, it says time as Bluegrass says, I'm on a quick drive, so it's it's not got any kind of scenario stuff programmed in at the moment, unfortunately. Whistleboard for Bearhurst level crossing. Yeah, Sam, as you say, there are uh, ASDO beacons at the beginning of the platforms. The 377s are fitted with that, and I think the 700s are as well. But the, the 375s are not. Yeah, not bad, Reggie. Thanks for asking. So in real life, there'd be a distance signal around here, which would be what I'd be looking out for for my breaking point of Stonegate. Um, however, it's not there. Like I said, 1980s. It has been resignaled since then. Can't find the live stream Pix channel on Discord. It is there, Glitch Creeper. Uh, unless someone's deleted it. Uh, Blob, is it true that at a whistleboard you only give a low tone? The rule but requirement is a low tone only between the hours of 0600 and midnight. However, most drivers, myself included, will end up, will give two tones. Um, but the rule but does only require that you give low tone only. A on the S, doors on the left. 
That signal also says Romeo Bravo on it, which is the Robertsbridge signaler's code. Um, in reality, that signal is the first one controlled by Tunbridge signal box. So that has a Papa Echo prefix on it. Um, but it's just me being a bit pedantic. Stonegate, we are off to Wadhurst. Sam Brooks, you won't have the 1980s excuse once we get past Tunbridge. If I bugger that up, I'm in serious trouble, aren't I? We are blowing our horn for Starvingdon foot crossing. You have Stonegate Station, Stonegate Substation coming up on the right, and the foot crossing is known as Starvingdon. So we are still good for, in real life, we're good for 80 here. However, the line speed will drop to 60 um, in a minute. We are blowing our horn for Craig's number one foot crossing. I assume there was a number two at the, uh, one point, but this is Craig's number one foot crossing. Uh, the HUD is on, you're quite right. My sincerest apologies. Uh, Ella, have you ever met Francis? I have met Francis. Yeah, there's um, on the GB Rail Freight TikTok account, there's there's a video of me and Francis in a Class 69 cab. So just before this bridge here, we should get a warning board for a 60 or somewhere around this bridge. No, this is where the 60 starts, somewhere up here. I'm a little bit lost and confused. No, the 60 starts a little bit further up. Just trying to get my bearings. There's the warning for the 60. This level crossing here is called Buttons Level Crossing. And this is a 60 over 45 for freight trains. Uh, Aston Martin fan, have you ever let anyone in the cab with you? No one that wasn't supposed to be there, bud. It's more than my job's worth. And there is said 60 mile an hour speed restriction. Uh, how do you remember the route so easily? Nathan, this was my core route when I started as a train driver. Um, I have literally been over this route. Um, I, if I said a thousand times, it probably, probably wouldn't be an exaggeration. This is sna um Shant foot crossing. <laughs> Caught me out there. You've got Shant foot crossing. We've just gone over. We're going to go round to the right. You've got a banner repeater just round here in real life. Uh, DT, my headphones broke. British Ace, hello, hello. How are we doing? We go round to the right and we have got Snape foot crossing. This is the Harry Potter foot crossing. Snape foot crossing. Um, this area is on quite a steep uphill gradient. This is also known as Poverty Corner, this area here. Um, back in the steam train days, it's where the steam trains would run out of puff coming up the bank from Etchingham. So this is known as Poverty Corner. Just about to go into uh, Wadhurst Tunnel, another single track tunnel. They've had a lot of landslips around here. Warning for the 50. So the fifth, <laughs> pressing all the buttons, I can't find the right one. So the 50 starts, oh, that's a bit jumpy. Again, this is another dead straight tunnel. I broke down in this tunnel with no no communication as well. That was a fun day. Uh, yeah, you can see right through this. This is a straight tunnel in real life. And the 50 starts just before the platform at Wadhurst. Um... L, will you be streaming the new Train Sim World free route? Yeah, I will be streaming um, Edinburgh, Glasgow, 11.30 on Thursday morning and then again 8.30 Thursday evening. Um, British Ace Joe, I guess you're going to be streaming that as well at some point. Thomas, how many times have you missed an AWS DSD? Whilst driving passenger trains, Thomas, I never missed it. Driving freight trains, I've done it probably half a dozen times. So as we come around the corner here, we have got Fair Crouch Foot Crossing. Rafe the train spot and no requirement to do so. Is 
this is fair crouch foot crossing. Uh, the crossing's a little bit further down in real life, but not to worry. That shunt signal also does not exist there. That is a ground frame controlled by um, hand signals used for emergency turnback purposes only. There is our 50. There is our banner repeater. That is also in the right place. Yeah, Papa Echo 424 on that banner repeater. That's uh, indicating we're under Tunbridge signal box. Davina McCall's house is just off to the left. Up the top of the hill. And we are 8 for the 8 at the end of the platform. Wadhurst substation on the right hand side. A on the 8, doors on the left. Uh, Epic, the 112. Speaking of Hastings on class 375s, are they ever rotated between the Medway units seen on Tracy Well 3? South in high speed or not. Assuming St. Leonard's has 375 depot for the Hastings time. Yeah, the units um, are constantly rotated around Epic 112. Units never stay allocated to the same depot. Uh, the reason that is, is because they have to be swapped around for maintenance purposes. So, um, like just like you've got driver's diagrams, so the driver goes from A to B to C to D to E, the traction also has a diagram so a service might start off at West Marina in the morning then it might go up to Charing Cross back to Hastings back to Charing Cross back to Hastings then it might go empties to Tunbridge Tunbridge to Charing Cross um, Charing Cross to Ramsgate and then it'll finish at Ramsgate for maintenance because Ramsgate's a maintenance depot um, so each each traction um, has a diagram as well so as a shunter you'd get requests like oh 375601 has hit a tree uh, when it needs to go back to Ramsgate for maintenance. So your job as the shunter would be to make sure you put that particular train um, on a diagram where it finishes back at a maintenance depot. So yeah, you, you'd try and make sure everything finishes in the right place at the end of the day. Uh, Glitch Creeper, isn't the max speed into a station 30 mile an hour? No, absolutely not. You can, you can come in as fast or as slow as you like, as long as you stop in the right place. Uh, there's no maximum speed. Uh, King E.T., I unfortunately can't comment at the moment. I shall have more to say to you on uh, on Thursday about the, that matter. So we are going steep downhill now into an area known as Wadhurst Dip. Um, there's a lot of deer in this area. And we drop downhill um, in the 60. And then as we come up the other side, the line speed will go up to 90. Just about there. Lovely. And we'll get some power in, although we're coming up towards France. And we should probably play locomotive delivery location. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Yeah, crazy place. As long as you can stop um, using service braking, then yeah. Uh, uh, L, no, I do not work for Dovetail Games. However, I am a Dovetail Games ambassador. Um, so they do give me content free of charge uh, to preview to you guys. And I do get early access to some of the content. But no, I, I do not work um, for Dovetail Games. I'm not associated with them um, in any way like that. So yeah, they, they don't pay me in any way, shape or form. Coming up towards Frant. Someone said staggered platforms earlier on. You've got more staggered platforms here. And once we come to a stand, CEO of the Intercity 225, you've got number 11... On locomotive livery location. I wish I had it. Well, I can't wait till I, I will have proper scenarios on this. It'd be interesting to see how I do with points. Eight on the 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 eight. Back to break step one. Anywhere in the drop light or cab door is absolutely fine. That's pretty much where we want to be. Eight on the eight doors on the left. My track only shows us having a four car as well. Three seven. Uh, that shows us a three seven seven as well. We're not. We're three seven five six two nine. 
Hey, Mr. Transformer 700, welcome to Dan Brownie Subscriber. Great to have you here. Let's get those door closed and get out of here. Okie dokie, yeah, locomotive delivery location, CEO of the Intercity, number 11. Let's play locomotive livery location. Give me number 11, guys. Give me uh, locomotive delivery location. <laughs> The 112. Speaking of freight locomotives, in the United Kingdom, do they have a driver reminder appliance equipped or not? Only passenger trains and mixed traffic locomotives like the Class 68, 80, 89, 92. Yeah, so um, quite a few freight locomotives don't have it. Certainly Class 66s don't have it. Um, class 73s don't have it. I was saying some of the Class 73s don't have it. Um, 69s don't have it. So yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. Yes and no, I guess is the right answer to that. What are we reckoning then, guys? DT Trade is going for GWR class 165, CO class 166, Penguin Chilton 168, Crazy Place 165. Uber, welcome to Debra, only subscriber. Uh, transport from Berkshire, GWR 165 at Oxford. Uh, what else have we got? Tesco Train class 168. CEO125, Intercity125, say thank you for getting a good square. Nathan's Trains 168. So in real life, the speed limit drops to 50 at the entrance to this tunnel. This is Strawberry Hill Tunnel. And it is another single track tunnel. Uh, Else's GWR Turbo at Red Hill, I think. Crazy place. What happens if there's a fault with the with one of the doors on the train? Uh, individual sets of doors you can lock out. No drama at all. Um, there gets there's all sorts of regulations about the number of doors you can lock out. Um, number of doors on each side. Doors immediately behind behind the driver's cab. Door regs gets a sort of a bit of a um, a bit messy. I was going to say another word, but I thought I better not. So we've got a 25 coming up just as we go into Tunbridge Wells. Strawberry Hill Tunnel coming through now. The area to our right in current times is occupied by Tunbridge Wells Turnback Siding. Are we going to have the branch line down to Tunbridge Wells West and the Spa Valley at Erich? Is that going to be in here coming up, which is Grove Junction, I think? So this is Grove substation. The next tunnel is Grove Tunnel. Uh, shunt signal. That is not there in real life anymore as well. No, the junction... There was a junction to our left there. You can just about see the disused track bed. Um, that went round to Tunbridge Wells West. And then on to the... Um, what is now the Spa Valley Railway down to Erridge. The Nathan's Trains and Robots. Richard, we are near Tunbridge. We are. We are just coming into Tunbridge Wells. Um... If anyone follows a YouTuber called HST Howard, you will see him at Tunbridge Wells quite often. Uh, Mr. Transformer 700, hello, bud. How are you doing? Great to have you as a new subscriber. Stagecoach bus disappeared on, on the bridge there. We are now approaching Royal Tunbridge Wells. Royal Tunbridge Wells, ladies and gentlemen. Eight. Oh, we've got an S car mark there. We will be eight on the S. Puppet Echo 412. Not sure why that has a route indicator on it. Eight on the S. Doors on the left. Uh, Tesco Train Richard. Why were so many tunnels converted to single track sections in the 1970s and 80s on the 1066 line? I knew someone was going to ask me that eventually. Um, so originally the tunnels on the Hastings line were double track. However, it was discovered shortly after the line opened 
that the contractors had skimped on the number of layers the tunnel wall was supposed to have. So the tunnel walls weren't thick enough to support um, support the tunnels. So, in, so consequently, the tunnel walls had to be relayered and extra layers of bricks put along the inside, which made the tunnels narrower. Back in the olden days, in the 60s and 70s, you had what was called the narrow, um, slim-bodied Hastings line stocks. You had special trains. Oh, I've lost all my key buttons now. Have I taken my key off? I have, haven't I? Oh, crikey. K. <laughs> it was all going too well. Right, what have I done? I broke it. I broke it, guys. What's this? Is it K for key? What's the shortcut for the key? Come on, guys. Help me out here. I've pressed something and broke it. WS is my reverser, isn't it? That's not doing very much. Um, press W. Yeah, I'm pressing W. It's not liking that very much. Uh, set the DDS to off. I can't move it. It's literally not letting me do anything. Shift and W. Yep, that's not doing anything either. Uh, yep, Shift and W is not doing anything at all. <laughs> oh, that was all going too well. I think it's broke. I think we broke it. We we broke it. We'll start again from Tunbridge Wells. Hopefully we should be able to do that. Uh, <laughs> it was all going so well. Um, Tunbridge Wells heading to Tunbridge. Right, it's going to let me do that. It's, it's not too bad. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do, Max. Control and W. Oh no, delays incoming. Okay, starting us off kind of in the tunnel. Right, let's just go. Okay, we're in Wells Tunnel. It's 50 mile an hour. We're off to High Brooms. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Yes, yeah, so sorry, I was saying about the tunnels. Um... Yeah, so it, it was it was discovered that the tunnels weren't structurally sound, so they had to reline them with extra bricks, which made them narrower. And back in the day, you had what was called narrow-bodied Hastings line stock. So if you look at like the the Green Goddess, for example, the 101 Thumper unit, um, a few of the coaches on there you'll notice are quite narrow. So the Hastings line had to have specially gauged stock um, in order to run on it. However, when the line was electrified, they kind of deemed that that was a stupid situation. Um, they didn't want to do that anymore. So they single tracked a load of the tunnels, which meant the Hastings line was able to accommodate standard gauge stock. So that was Wells Tunnel. We're coming over Wells Junction now. The line speed goes back up to 60. We are not too far away from High Brooms. Should have turned it off and back on again. That always works. Um, we've forgotten to do our lights here as well, haven't we? There we go. That's night running I've gone on to, isn't it? Yeah. Non-driver side is day running. So line speed has gone back up to 60. This is a steep downhill gradient all the way to all the way to Tunbridge actually. Um, freight trains coming in the opposite direction, especially the Mountfield, can really struggle here. So I'm going to drop a little bit of brake in here for high brooms. Coming up to a level crossing known as CEGB crossing, which is Central Electricity Generating Board, which is a private crossing. And there is Hybrams. Um, in the morning when I was driving on this route, we used to have quite a lot of services that went fast from here to London, um, which was always very nice to do. Hybrams, Hybrams, Hybrams. There's our four, heading for the eight. 
This is a 12 car platform now as well. And the terminal on the side there is the oil terminal. That is no longer there. Used to have oil trains going and feeding the uh, local central heating system, the central heating oil network for central heating. I knew what I meant. <laughs> eight on the eight. Open the doors. Off we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Trace off from Berkshire. Why did they not use OLE? Uh, why did the northern regions not use third rail? It's, yeah. I think I've just done it again. I have just done it again. I've just pressed S. This train does not like me. Wow. Okay, there's, there's definitely something wrong with this train. Restart option there. Um, right. Yep, I definitely need the AP375. That will be happening. This train is now fast to Tunbridge, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, I, do you know what? I should have put the HUD up there to see what was going on. That would have actually been the best idea. I didn't even think about that, Joe. Thank you. If it does it again, I'll remember that. Um, move the... Yeah, it's what, definitely what I should have done. Blame it on the train. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely the train. It's never the driver. Bad workman always blames his tools. Chris, uh, I've got a couple of videos on that, incidentally. If you look at why the level crossing barriers go down so early, that kind of explains it a little bit. Um, so your two main types of level crossings are controlled crossings and uncontrolled crossings and locally monitored three main types of level crossings Don't be confused if I say a crossing is controlled um, If I say a crossing is auto uh, If I say a crossing is controlled it doesn't mean it's controlled manually It means the crossing environment is controlled so controlled crossings can still be an automatic crossing so uh, an an uncontrolled level crossing is a level crossing where the level crossing is not protected by signals. So an automatic half barrier level crossing, for example, has no signal protection on that. Um, the train comes along, hits a tread, or crossing goes down. You're relying on the goodwill of the drivers to stop. Train goes past, crossing opens. Um, it's the automatic half barriers. If you've got a full barrier crossing, we're not stopping at High Brooms, so we're going straight down to Tunbridge. If you've got a full barrier crossing, um, that will be a controlled crossing. Now, controlled crossings can still be operated automatically. Don't be confused by that. Um, but it means the crossing environment is controlled. It is physically protected by signals. So you'll have red signals either side before the crossing. Once the crossing gates are lowered, the crossing is physically checked, either by CCTV, um, a person standing next to the crossing, or in the case of um, new, newer crossings, you've got obstacle detection radars. Um, so the crossing is physically checked to make sure it's clear of obstructions and only then will the signals be cleared to green So it does depend largely on the on the type of level crossing that you're at uh, Train spot 2004 uh, last time I was at Tunbridge. It was broken Crazy place. It's not six. It wasn't 601 Headlights people headlights Not in use as well can I scroll through the destination display? Uh, F6, F7. No. Never mind. Okay, we're coming down towards South Viaduct. This is a steep downhill gradient. It's 60 all the way at the moment. Glitch Creeper, I'm not surprised the train was broken if you were driving it. Yeah, we're going to have to jump out when we get to Tunbridge as well, because I don't have a, um, a scenario that goes all the way through to London at the moment, because I don't have enough AP packs to get one. Uh, when was that DET? I've been off work for the last week, so it could be that it's fixed and out and about. Uh, L, how would you tell a driver their headlights were broken on the move? Universal sign is to tap your head or do that. 
If you're coming out of a terminal station and you forget to put your lights on, you've still got reds on, you get drivers doing that quite often. Green signal. Our next speed restriction will be 20. Uh, no, apologies. Our next speed restriction will be 30, just as we come out of Summerhill Tunnel, which is the last single line tunnel on the Hastings line. So we are blowing our horn for Forest Foot Crossing. Um, we've also just gone past South TP Hut. So the next signal we come to is Papa Echo Correction. The next signal we come to is Alpha Delta 402, which is our first signal under the control of Ashford. Doesn't have a route indicator on it in real life either. No, that's an Alpha Delta signal now, not a Papa Echo signal. It's right about 402 though, um, but that is an Ashford signal. Uh, Summer Hill Tunnel, again, this is a completely dead straight tunnel. The tunnels seem to be quite curved on this. Um, in a lot of places where they're straight, they're, they're very curved. Uh, it'll be 30 as we come out of the tunnel, then it drops down to 20 just before the station. However, 1980 signalling, anything's possible. And we're saying 20 all the way back here. So we'll go with it, because that's what it says. Twenty at the twenty. Isn't it ironic it's called the ten sixty six Hastings line? That felt unsafe. One yellow, this is Alpha Delta four zero zero signal platform two. So yeah, still got Papa Echo up there. This is an Alpha Delta. Is that asset there in the background where my mouse is? Is that the I'm gonna have to jump out of the train and hope this doesn't break. That looks like the Victoria Coach Station, doesn't it? It's got to be, right? Reusing assets, we love it. We are speeding, 20 all the way down here. So we are now joining the main line from Ashford up to um, London Charing Cross. Uh, Trains what 2004, how far do you sign in real life? Asking as in London area next week. Uh, so if you're in the London area, I go as far as up the West London line as far as Willesden. Next week I'm on nights a week doing some um, snow and ice treatment trains. We will shortly be arriving at Tunbridge. This train terminates here. All change please, all change. And this is where I started my railway career as a platform dispatcher. Back in 2006, 2007... Somewhere around there. Red ahead, 20 over the AWS magnet. One click shopping. Pretty sure that wasn't a thing in the 80s. And this should be Alpha Delta 152 signal. And I know that says 8 and I've gone past it. It's because I want to check what the signal number is. It should be Alpha Delta 152. Upper Echo 143. Let's stop it there. Post Excellent, we're at Tumbridge. Now for locomotive livery location. Tumbridge looks pretty good as well. It, it's pretty decent. That building up the top there, um, where my mouse is the top right of the screen, that's, that's pretty realistic. That's pretty accurate. Tumbridge is looking nice. Tumbridge West Yard and the Jubilee sidings as well. Um, over the back there. You reach the end of this quick drive scenario. Fantastic. So, uh, back to main menu into quick drive. Now, I have not even loaded up this now, so hopefully. Hopefully, it's going to be here. Southeastern Network. There we go. Okay, so, departing from Tunbridge. We'll do a London at Charing Cross. Go. Locomotive livery location. 
PH7, number 17. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Give you number 17, guys. 10 seconds, Locomotive Livery and Location, please. <laughs> oh, is that a dead bird on the front? <laughs> Northern Princess Productions, you are just far too kind. Um, however, I already have that DLC. <laughs> uh, um, oh no, I do, I do not have that DLC, which adds right. Thank you very, very, very much. Much appreciate that. Cheeky little ad, yeah. I, my my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dad, Brown got to eat. Fat Richard. We are still loading. Game is loading. Uh, what are we reckoning? Penguin says Children 168 at Banbury. Um, Tesco train 168 King Sutton. CEO of Intercity Class 168. Jonathan Chilton Rowish 168 at Oxford. Pig and Bob 168 at Islip. Network Panda knew they found out the train. Don't tell them. <laughs> Sam Brooks 168 Princess Risborough. Um, Aylesbury says Trainspot 2004. PH7 is going Oxford Parkway. Um, D2 Train is going West Ryslip. There we go. go um, Trainspot 2004 is very kind of you. However, um, I do feel that I should support them and, and pay good money for it. So we are... I believe this is more current era, this bit, isn't it? So Alpha Delta 152, which is what I was expecting to see... That is where I am based, Tunbridge West Yard. That is where I work out of. Um, and we will be stopping at Seven Oaks. There's probably a scenario for this, which I could have loaded up, actually. Um, we'll carry on as we are, though. We're going Seven Oaks, Orpington, London Bridge, Waterloo East, and London Charing Cross. GJ Barnard, Dead Pigeon at Taunton. How are we doing, bud? Great to see you in the stream tonight. So we are back at Tunbridge with uh, slight modifications. We're now in southeastern colours. Trampolines on the railway track. Let's put some lights on before we go as well. There we go. Day running. Get those doors shut. We are off. Thomas Lights. Beat you to it, bud. Right, okay. Green. A nice AP green as well. We are 40 mile an hour leaving here. Power Notch 2 is normally a good place to be. Once we get around the corner, we go 1790. Uh, Pig and Bob, I think it's either Oxford Parkway or uh, is that Islip? Islip. Um, GJ Barna, good thanks for loving the stream. Thank you very much, bud. Much appreciated. Uh, Dabra, Discord, please. Go on then, Max. 319? Beautiful. We're doing aviation now. Our random aviators posted some nice uh, shots of GBRF locos at Tunbridge. I can't press play, unfortunately, on those um, on the Discord. And uh, Eloise has got a signalling panel up there. Post pictures, live stream pictures page over on the Discord server. Invitation link in the description below. So the line from Tunbridge up to Seven Oaks is Simbids, simplified bi directional signalling. We pass over the River Medway. This is quite a steep uphill gradient as well now. So, a uh, CO of Intercity, about 40 minutes. Um, and then once we finish this stream, I am going to be jumping into some serious video editing on a uh, driver's eye view video. Rob Smith Racing, I can see my house from here. Give you a toot as we go past. Gregory, how many kills so far? <laughs> Only pigeons. This should be a 90 board coming up. 100 board. No, this is a 90 board. Although the sectional appendix does detail this bit of line as 100 miles an hour on the up. If you can get a train to do 100 here, you're doing very, very well. Um, it's impossible. 
Hey, Ben P, how are we doing? Hello. Uh, Loco Class 66 signaling transfer from Tunbridge to Ashford in the early 90s as part of the upgrade for the Channel Tunnel. Sandbrook's not stopping at Hildenborough. Hildenborough is one of our favourite uh, fail to call locations. It's accelerating up here a lot quicker than it would in real life. Um, heavy freight trains, you really struggle up here. This is this is quite a climb. That is Hildenborough coming up. Hilden Bubbles. And we come into one of the longest tunnels on the southeastern in a minute, at, uh, just before Seven Oaks. Trains will be marked here. Darrow, stick out, OLE up, and then you can get a train up to 100 miles an hour more quickly. Yeah, you certainly can, but it looks ugly. It is the superior system, if we're being honest. 25,000 volt overhead is, is the superior electrical system, but it's, it's just ugly as, as anything. So we've got a whistleboard there for Nizel's foot crossing. However, in real life, the whistleboard and the crossing has gone. But only recently. Yeah, Jonathan, it, it, it's the signpost is 90, but yeah, the line speed is actually 100. But you will really struggle to get 100 up here. Um, on the down, you'll get 100 easily. You'll come out of Seven Oaks Tunnel doing 90. You'll get the 100 board just after the tunnel, and you'll, you'll easily get up to 100 coming down the bank. Sandbrooks, is it longer than Strew Tunnel? Not entirely sure. Hey, Scott Armstrong, how are we doing, bud? Great to see you. So, yeah, keeping that power in. We're going to drop to 70 just before the tunnel anyhow. I'm going to shut off just there. Hey, Eddie, how are you doing? Morning, Richard. It's, uh, well, it's 10 past 10 in the evening here, bud, but... Uh, We'll say morning. Whereabouts in the world are you, my friend? So, just to our left, we have got Wield Substation. Warning board for an, a 90. Okie dokie. It goes back to 70 before the tunnel. Uh... Ella, have you ever driven through Surbiton? No, I don't sign the Southwestern Main Line down through Surbiton. So I, I sign the Southwestern Main Line um, from Byfleet and Newhall, but I sign round via. Um, so I go down the Windsor Lines, then down to Barnes, then I sign round the Hounslow Loop or via Richmond, um, then down through Feltham, uh, Staines, Egham, Virginia Water, Chertsey, Addleston, come out of Byfleet and Newhall, then all the way down to Southampton. Um, yeah, but I, I don't sign the bit through Surbiton and Wimbledon down the main. I do sign Wimbledon. I sign Wimbledon on the Sutton Loop. Um, but yeah, I've never driven through there. So next station stop will be Seven Oaks, which has an offside door release. Whilst we are in the tunnel... Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Trainspot 2004, did GBRF lose the contract for 777s after the declaration of 006? Uh, I am unable to comment on that. I, I don't actually know, but even if I did, I'd probably not saying I should be talking about. Ah, oh, you're in Sydney, Australia, where it's 9.11. 9... Oh, no, it's, it's 11 minutes past 9 in the morning. Excellent, bud. And I expect it's nice and sunny and warm as well. It's It's been bloody freezing over here in the UK at the moment. So normally we get one yellow on the right-hand side, which is the distant signal for the Simbids, um, which is a pretty good indication of coming towards the end of the tunnel. So the tunnel is dead straight until the very end where you get a left-hand bend, so you can't see through the tunnel. So we're just coming around that left-hand bend now, which indicates we're coming to the end of the tunnel. Nathan, the next station will be Seven Oaks. And we're going to drop the brake in at the just as we come out the tunnel. We have Oak Hill substation on the left-hand side as we come out the tunnel. Seven Oaks down siding and the gusset siding on the right-hand side. If you get flashing yellows here, you're going through platform number two, which is a 50 mile an hour crossover. If you get position light uh, route indicator number two, that will take you onto platform three, which you can then access the baton ball line. 
Uh, Eddie Knight's overcast. Oh, wow. We're doing all right. Seven Oaks looks good. I can't wait to play um, Northern Princess Productions if you're still in. I'm really looking forward to playing some of your scenarios on this. Um, I, f I think they're going to be excellent. So there's the four and six. There's the eight and ten. Line speed's gone back up to 80 just before the station. We'll take that. That's close enough. So in reality now, we'd get up out the seat and we'd go over to the offside and open the doors. We can't do that in train sim. We're going to press the T button. Uh, Sam will be train spotting. Here's a question. How did the trains know the current speed limit with TASS speedos? Um, with speed limit indicators. Is it like the AWS ramp where it passes data to the train? So TASS is... That's the uh, tilt system on the Pendolinos, isn't it? I believe there's Belize's on the track where it passes the information through. However, it may be GPS. Um, I've never got trained on uh, TASS system, Samuel, so I'm not entirely sure. Lumix, I've only been to 7x once. Northern Princess, I'm testing a 466 scenario for you as we speak. Jonathan, did Electrostars ever have CSR? They certainly did. When I started driving them, they were CSR. So I can I can say with 100% accuracy, yes, they did. Seven Oaks Substation, or no, it's not called that. It's called Seven Oaks Feeder, or something like that, just on the right-hand side. We are off to Orpington. Steep downhill, 70 at the moment. Uh, sorry, 80 at the moment. Nice people will go up to an EMU 90 just before Dunton Green. Lumix, yeah, we are going to go past Grove Park. There is our 80. We were already 80. That's just the trains coming out the other platform there. You can press the right arrow to go to the right side of the cab. Uh, normally, yes. That doesn't want to do it, though. Round the corner, dropping down into Dunton Green. Uh, we never done locomotive livery location. I pressed the button, but we never done it. Um, who have we got? Pig and Bob, number 14. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. 14 guys, Locomotive Livery Location. Like we're playing bingo. We're going for a while. Let me know your thoughts on that. And there's our 90 board. You just saw that coming up on the left hand side. That is an EMU 90 now, so it only applies to electrical multiple units, which we are. And that 90 only runs as far as just before Pole Hill Tunnel, which is our next tunnel. We're passing through Dunton Green at the moment. Um, then we're going to pass underneath the M26 motorway. Um, we drop back to 80 in a few minutes. This is quite a steep uphill gradient from here on in as well. You normally start to lose a little bit of speed. So we're taking it up to 90, however... I will have to shut off in a minute. What are we saying? Pig and Ball, Bomb 68, also Parkway, Tesco Trade, King Sutton, DT Trains, Chiltern on the Metropolitan Line. So there's our 90. We're just under 90. I'm just going to shut off now and let that roll back because the line speed will drop back to 80. Um, Jez Davis, question Q. Is there any issue with cycling quickly through to power stage 4 from a standing start from a platform? Regarding safety, passenger comfort, Plinkus Franks loves the string. It's completely dependent on the type of traction you're driving, uh, Jez. On a 375, 377, that is 100% the way we would drive it. You just go power notch four straight away. However, if you're on a wet rail, slippery rail, you're starting on a yellow signal, um, you've got a low line speed, then you might not do. But if you're sort of on a 90, 100 mile an hour line speed, um, you're on green signals and it's a dry rail, then yeah, absolutely go for it. So after we've done the 80 here, what we do is we put the training power notch 2 and we just leave it as we come through Pole Hill Tunnel. Yeah, Thomas, it's not, again, traction depending, it's not really that, that um, less comfortable for passengers because the computer will ultimately only give you as much power as it wants to give you. If you whack it into power notch 4, it's not suddenly going to be like, you know, whacking the volume 
what's the best way of putting it? It's not going to be... Imagine you've got a light bulb that's got like off and then full brightness. If you go straight into four, it's not like whacking that dial all the way around and it goes full brightness straight away. The computer's still going to regulate it, so it's still going to come up slowly. Even if you whack it all the way open, it's, it's still going to come up at the same rate. The difference is it's not going to stop coming up until it gets up to full power. So if you put it in power notch two, it'll come up so far and then stop. If you put it in four, it's going to come up at exactly the same speed, but stop when it gets to four rather than stop when it gets to two. So, yeah, traction depending, it's, it's really not going to make much of a difference. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to a member of staff or text the British Transport Police on a 61016. We'll sort it. See it? Say it. Sort it. I reckon... Coming around to the left, Pole Hill Substation... Uh, no, sorry... Is it Pole Hill Substation? There's a substation up to the left there. I reckon... Definitely not me putting a 43 into full power on a wet start. That's why I said, Samuel, yeah, it's all, it's all very much traction dependent, isn't it? Same with a 66. Um, you don't really want to whack a 66 into full power. Very, very much traction dependent on whether you're going to get wheel slip, condition dependent. Yeah, it's, it's you know... So gradient changes here at Knockholt. We're now on a downhill gradient. We're passing underneath the A21. We're going to go into Chelsfield Tunnel. I think we can have a bit of fun with announcements. You know my pre-stream thing that I've got? I'm sure you're all familiar with it. I'll just put it up while we're in the tunnel. That thing there. How would it be... How would it be if I asked you guys to send me on Discord... Train announcements, generic train announcements. Like, do not leave your bags unattended. See it, say it, sorted. Send them to me on Discord, and like every stream, I could chuck a couple of them on the pre-stream as like little kind of community involvement items. Make them as long as they're clean, you can make them a little bit hilarious and sarcastic. I think we'll go with that. We'll give it a go and see how it works. See if you've got any announcements you'd love to make, like the see it, say it, sorted, or anything like that. Send them over to me on Discord on my social media channels. Make sure they're they're family friendly. And uh, I might play them at the beginning of the stream. So we're coming towards Orpington. Uh, Nathan Strays and Robots. I'm back. My Wi-Fi cut. Oh, that's awful. I'm touching wood now. I'm, I'm quite lucky where I am. I've got a pretty reliable internet connection. So I've got a magnet for the signal there. We're going to drop it into break step. Have I gone into break step one? Into break step one. Start slowing down for Orpington. Network Panda. Dabrow doing that right now. Why not? It could be a bit of fun. So we still keep the... Um, 7090, that's an that's an EMU 90 coming into Orpington now. A little bit of break step too. Uh, so our line speed will drop back to 70 at um, Petswood Junction in a few moments. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Probably going to need a little bit of break step free. We're coming a little bit fast into Orpington. Not too bad though, not too bad. And there is our 8 for the 8. Eight on the 8. Lovely stop. Doors open. Lumix, welcome aboard the South Eastern service to London Charing Cross. We will be calling at Orpington, London Bridge, London Waterloo East and London Charing Cross. Samuel B. Trainspotting. The announcement is just screaming. We've spatted. Hold on to your seats. Ah, excellent. CEO, am I allowed to steal someone else's YouTube video for the announcements? Uh, better not, bugs. I might get copyright strike on it. Make, th make them original. Make them original. Ryan Fitzpatrick. I live in Orpington and take this train to work every day water, uh, to Waterloo. Always quick to Waterloo. Only takes 23 minutes. Uh, but it is southeastern. It can take longer. In reality, we get platform dispatch there, bat and flag is driver only operated, although most mainline services will still have a conductor on there for revenue purposes. Alpha Delta 6-2, we're currently under 
signaling is under Ashford IECC workstation number one. Our first signal under the control of... Now, is this going to be London Bridge or is it going to be Three Bridges Rock? Depends when this is modelled. Our first signal will be just after Chislehurst Fast Tunnel. Davra, what platform is the pre-stream recorded on? Uh, do you mean what platform at East Croydon? I think it's on platform 3 and 4 at East Croydon. Um, when they're on time, it's quick. Yeah, definitely, Ryan. So, what we would normally do, and I've already buggered it up. I'm going to put a bit of break in. What we would normally do leaving Orpington is accelerate to 55 mile an hour. Now, this will coast all the way to Hiver Green. And we don't have to touch the controls. So, let's see what happens in game. Let's change that to an 8 as well, because we are an 8. 375s don't have that in them either. Which they should have, because it's quite a nice touch. Northern Princes, I have some fun announcements. I did for real. Anything you can tell us? <laughs> Maxwell, what platform is the pre-stream record? I've said that one, haven't I? Um... Craig Paul, the 22-25 train to question mark is delayed due to the driver having tea and biscuits with a man. Yes! There is our 70. Yeah, no, in reality, again, freeware route, completely not complaining. Um, in reality, you accelerate to 55 and this thing will just coast all the way to Hivergreen uh, without losing speed. You'll actually pick up a little bit of speed. So, we do need to drive this slightly differently to what, what we would do. But it's not a problem. Completely and utterly not moaning. Hey, James, how are we doing, bud? Great to have you here. We are about to pass over the spur lines that take the main line that we're on down to... There's the spurs. Take the main line that we're on down to the Chatham lines. And we are about to pass over the aforementioned Chatham lines. The substation there is really good. There are the Chatham lines. Which are modelled in train sim, of course. Do I sign them? I do. 60. That 60 was taken out years ago. It used to be 60 through there, but it is now 70 through here. That's, that 60 was taken out years ago. Can't use the 1980s excuse, but it's still out of date. Uh, Billy Games. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, that's DT train says what is freeway. It's basically a free route. You do need quite a few um, add-ons, though. In order to get it to run. So we're still at 70. Coming down towards Elmstead. Where the previous station was. Chislehurst. 142 of you lovely people in. If you haven't already. Please do hit that like button. And consider subscribing. That would be absolutely brilliant. And if you want to support me as well. From 99p a month. You can click the little um, join icon. And then you'll get a little first class ticket next to your name. And your name comes up in green. And you get priority response to all your messages in the chat. Uh, Sam Brooks, I create a scenario from Tumbridge to Charing Cross that goes along these lines. And also the New Beckenham Spur. I don't sign down to New Beckenham. Unfortunately. I, I sign Beckenham Junction. Um, but I don't sign on the Hayes line. That's just unfortunately not on my route card. So the signal coming up is the first signal. We're in Chislehurst Fast Tunnel. The signal coming up is the first signal under the control of London Bridge. I'm assuming it's going to be London Bridge. It'll have a Lima, uh, which is Lima 1, I believe. No, it's Tango Lima. Okay, so this is in the era of the signalling being under Free Bridges Rock, but the 60s still there at Chislehurst. So we have incorrect routing, incorrect speeds in the route. Yes, he was still losing speed. We, we, we would be would be holding it quite nicely down here in the real world. Bromley North Branch on the left hand side. Uh, Joe the British Ace has done a video on that. Takes you around to Sunbridge, Sundridge Park and Bromley North. I do sign that route in real life, although I haven't driven it for a little while, so it, I'm possibly due a refresher on it. 
Uh, you can see the gradient changes here, so we start going downhill. Uh, in reality, you are downhill all the way from Orpington, like I've been saying. Um, next speed limit change for us will be 60 just before Hither Green. Grove Park Depot. Which would normally be absolutely, completely and utterly chock-a-block full of trains. And I do sign Grove Park Depot. Still says not in use on the front. It's a driver training trip. We'll go with that. <laughs> Uh, DT Trains, yeah, I have driven 73 202. Uh, McLeod, this game could do a VR mode. That would be pretty epic. I understand Train Sim World supports um, IR track, though. Which would be quite interesting to play with. Uh, Gregory, what does the big red button do? That one there is the emergency brake button. And that one there is the stop all trains button. That one will stop this train. That one will put your emergency brakes on. And that one there is the... Um, emergency call button to the signaller. See my GSMR radio video for more information. 60 at Hiver Green. There we go. Next speed restriction will be 45 at Parksbridge Junction. If another driver presses that big red button, this is what you will hear in your cab. Emergency. 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 Loco Class 66. I started my freight career at Hiver Green. That 60 actually starts the other side of the station there. Um... We've just missed it. You can just see the lines round to the left there, the top left of your screen. Um, that's the sick up line, which will take you down to Dartford. You can then join up with Train Sim World Freeze Dartford um, to Fabersham route. Drop a little bit more break in. There's a 45 just coming up. This is Parks Bridge Junction. So all the trains I drive these days, on the majority of them, um, you'd be on the slow lines and then you'd be getting a position four on that previous signal and be going down the Court Hill Loop, um, down there towards Lewisham. Is that modelled on here, actually? I wonder if that's modelled. Northern Princess Productions, if you are still here. Um, Mountfield Sidings. All the way up to here. Slow lines at Orpington. Round the loop at Lewisham. Over the flyover. Have we got the bit of line up to Nunhead? If we've got the bit of line up to Nunhead. That would be epic. And down through Denmark Hill to Wandsworth Road. And then on the South London network up the West London line. Or better still. If we got the South Western lines down to down the Windsors. That would be... I don't know if we got that. That would be pretty, pretty epic if we have. So you are 45 all the way through here. If you were coming in the opposite direction, you've got a 30, I want to say. It's been a long time since I've driven this bit. Yes, the Court Hill Loop is modelled. Excellent. Uh, McLeod, yeah, I've had that, that emergency call for real several times. It's never a nice experience. And back up to 60, that is St. John's Station on the right-hand side. The line's joining us from our left. Uh, this is known as Tanners Hill Junction. The line's joining us from our left, come down from Lewisham. We are getting towards the end of the line now, guys. Probably only about 15 minutes left to go. Um, the Windsor lines aren't in train seam. Oh, that's a shame. So the first tunnel here is Lucas Street Tunnel. And then Tanner's Hill Tunnel. And the line speed is going to drop to 50 or 55. I used to drive this twice a day back in the day. And I can't remember. I think it's 55 in this direction. Um, the line speed drops to just as we come through Newcross. Yeah, 55. There we go. And what era of London Bridge have we got modelled? Should be the new London Bridge in theory, because the signalling is Tango Victor Charlie. No, the signal's gone to Lima here. Okay, interesting. Back up to 60. The 60 doesn't start till round the corner here in real life. Just gone through New Cross. We are now approaching North Kent East Junction. Um, the line's coming in from our right, which we'll see in a few moments. 
see the London skyline coming into view. We are now passing over the London overground lines from New Cross Gate. The lines coming in from our left, this is North Kent East Junction, they, are, they go down to Greenwich. We'll take it back up to 60. Flashing yellow. There is no flashing yellows here in real life. You do not get flashing yellows here. Uh, of course, now... Millwall Football Club over there. Of course, now we would be dropping downhill and then going underneath the new uh, dive under. Dabra, don't go the wrong way again. Someone's been watching my videos, Network Panda. Oh, Northern Princess. Don't worry about it if it's that much. <laughs> I thought that'd be like the gypsum run. That'd be quite nice. Okay, so if this is the old London Bridge, position one on this signal puts us onto what was the up passenger loop. Um... Which means we're not getting a platform at London Bridge unless we're going to get checked back over. And this, if I remember rightly, was a 50 mile an hour crossover. So London Bridge has been completely and utterly remodelled. Back up to 60. We will drop down to 20 before London Bridge. Um, but we've got the Shard. So yeah, so th there's a few things on this route which are kind of not clicking with me and making sense. But, you know, freeware, not going to complain. Not going to complain. Right, we'll get into London Bridge and then we'll do locomotive delivery location. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Uh, that's our warning ball for the 20, I suspect, there. Richard, have you ever been involved in an incident in your train driving career, says James. Um, the only instance I've had, I've had a couple of TPWS um, overspeed incidents when I was driving passenger trains. Um, and I did have a station overrun, but I can't talk about that one for uh, for reasons. <laughs> um, but I've, I've I've never been involved in any sort of fatalities or anything like that, or or touch wood. I've never been involved in a spad or, or anything like that. That twenty starts much further up in real life. Um, so if this is the old London Bridge, which it looks like it is, we are not getting a platform. Therefore, we are not stopping at London Bridge because we are on the up passenger loop. It is many, many, many years since I've driven through here. Yeah, we've got an L. We're not getting a platform at London Bridge. Must be a fast service. Fast to Waterloo East. But I'm sure the southern side of the station was remodelled before the Shard was built. Hey, we've got a platform there. But you don't have a platform here. Okay, this is a little bit strange. Samuel, yeah, I, I, I would like to get a rail driver controller, but the cost is just crazy ridiculous. Um, the Alan Thompson controllers are quite nice as well, so, but I, I think they're a bit iffy about whether they work with trains in well. But yeah, I, I would definitely, definitely like to get one. Um, they're just so expensive. Right, we're not stopping here. And the reason we're not going to stop here is because this platform does not exist. In the old London Bridge station, there was no platform here. This was the up passenger loop. Therefore, we are not stopping. Yeah, Glitch Creeper, I am, I'm 100% confused with the route. It's a mixture of old and new. I can't work out exactly what era we're in and where we're going and what we're doing. Uh, Northern Princess Productions, normally that's J&A boxes on that service. Twenty, so round the corner, we're just passing over. Um, this is Borough Market Junction. Round the corner to our right. Which we can't see if we jump out. Actually, Cannon Street lines, just round there. Oh, 
Oh, found one. Samuel found one for 60 odd quid on Facebook Marketplace. It might be worth looking. Ah, definitely. So we're 20 through here. We go back up to 25 once we get across the junction. This is a Metropolitan Junction. Met Junction. So your Thameslink trains will be swinging a right there and going up to Blackfriars. Before London Bridge was rebuilt, this was an absolute nightmare hotspot for congestion. And it always seemed like Thameslink would always get priority. I suppose some things never change, but Thameslink drivers would tell you otherwise. <laughs> so back up to 25. Yeah, see, that's confusing as well, because if we're on the old London Bridge station... That is a single track going up to Blackfriars. That spur is is a single line, not a double. I think we've got some serious artistic license going on here. Uh, Dad Row, the creator added a fictional platform to allow the modern workings. Ah, that kind of makes sense. Uh, Sam Brooks, the creator of the route, said they added the platform on the loop for scenario creators, so you get two platforms in each direction on the Charing Cross lines. Yeah, now that, that does make perfect sense. Right, locomotive livery location. Um, Glitch Creeper with number five. I had forgotten about it, Network Panda, yes. We are at Waterloo East, almost at Charing Cross. London Eye coming into view. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Give you number five, guys. Five <laughs> Ten seconds, Locomotive Livery Location. What are you thinking to happen? I think someone has already got it. Not 100% sure, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I think I saw someone get it earlier. Yeah, Sam, before the whole thing was rebuilt and remodelled, it was, you had two tracks from um, London Bridge all the way around to Metropolitan Junction and basically had all the Charing Cross services, literally all the Charing Cross services, fast and slow, and all the Thameslink services sharing one up line and one down line. It was, yeah, pandemonium, it really was. So if you are driving a Hastings train... And you are running on the normal calling pattern. Waterloo East is the only station on the up. It's the only station you have to dispatch yourself with driver-only monitors. Uh, the rest of the stations, you'll either have guard dispatch or platform dispatch. Uh, Dad, Rao, we did number five. Sorry, I done five because I didn't realise. What do you call... Maxwell, what do you call crazy pandas? Pandemonium. Excellent. PH7 is saying 168 Chilton, Oxford Parkway or Leamington Spa. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you think it might be? Uh, NG says 168 at uh, Beaconsfield. There is an awesome model village at Beaconsfield. Beaconscott Model Village. If you haven't been, then... Highly, highly recommend a visit there. Really good. Why have I got my wipers turned on? Uh, Nathan's Trades and Robots, Richard, what workings are you doing during the week? I am starting tomorrow. I'll be on um, Free Yankee 90 SITT train on uh, a night shift all week. So, very little opportunity for me to stream next week. However, I am off work Thursday, which is very convenient because that is the day the Scotland Express route is released. Um, so, I will be streaming Scotland Express at 11.30 a.m. on Thursday. Um, I know a lot of my viewers and stuff will be at school at that time and at work. So, there will be another stream on the Scotland Express at 8.30 in the evening, which is our usual stream time. So hopefully you can um, come along and check that one out with me. NG, I've been to Beck and Scott. It's great. It really is, bud. It really is. Hey, Deo Olalelecan. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Welcome to Dabra. New subscriber. Great to have you here. Just coming across Hungerford Bridge. Someone reused the Millennium Bridge asset there. Someone has, not they? Oh, well, why not? It works. Platform 5 is going to take us over to the right. 
Um, DG Jones, what is sit? Yeah, Tesco's train says snow and ice treatment train. Lumix, where are we now? Coming into Charing Cross. Which means we will do a locomotive delivery location reveal. So post your numbers now. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. So we are 15 mile an hour at the platform ramps. We should have been 15 through the crossover as well there. Please don't crash. Let's get all the way in. 10 mile an hour for the TPWS loops, which may or may not be modelled, but we'll assume they are and slow down and away. Bluegrass, when you get the AP375, can we do Charing Cross to Hastings? We most certainly can. I, I'm really, really enjoying this route. And uh, again, because it's one that I'm familiar with, I can drive it quite easily. Um, without too much drama, and I can kind of engage with the chat a little bit. It's like I was saying the other day, guys, if I know the route, it makes it much easier for me to deliver a half-decent drive. I mean, we made it all the way without... We made it all the way without tea and biscuits with the manager. <laughs> Brake step free, DRA into neutral. Doors on the left. Have they opened? I don't think they've opened. Oh, they have down the bottom. It just doesn't want to open that first coach. Okay, guys. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. Locomotive Livery Location. What have we got? Pig and Bob, you're in there again with number nine, my friend. This is your last chance. I can just give you a few moments to... And then we will do a reveal. So yeah, Nathan's Trains and Roblox, what day is the next stream? So this is the conclusion of my seven day marathon of streams, which has been absolutely epic. I've really enjoyed it. We've played a good variety of games this week. We've been in British Railways, we've been in SCR. Uh, we've done some Trains in World, some Trains in Classic. And of course, we did have a little bit of Fortnite earlier, which is uh, was interesting, shall we say. <laughs> so this does mark the end of that. The next stream, guys, will be Thursday, 11.30 a.m. on the Scotland Express, and then 8.30 p.m. on the Scotland Express. And I'm really looking forward to sharing that route with you all. Um, so what are we reckoning for the last time? Patrick Hampson, Chilton 168, Princess Risborough. Tesco Trains, yeah, I'm still going King Sutton 168. Uh, Glitch Creeper, I don't know. Net the Panda, King Sutton wants to say. I don't know, my chat's gone a bit weird. We'll do a reveal. We'll do a reveal. Here we go. Sam will be tracing what is DRA really needed at the buffer stop. Seems a bit redundant. The buffer stop is classed as a red signal, so you would always set it. Uh, you always set it when entering or leaving a cab as well. If it's been set when someone's left the cab, you shouldn't need to do it when you enter it when entering or leaving. So, it's time to reveal today's locomotive livery location. Give me that, guys. Well done, Network Panda. Chilton Class 168 at Princess Risborough. Congratulations to everybody that got that right. That was a uh, that was a really decent one. Thank you very much for sending that in, Network Panda. And if you want to send me any pictures for locomotive location livery, uh, as you know by now, guys, you can send them to me via my social media channels, which are on the screen for you right now. Do head over to there. Give me a follow on Twitter. That would be absolutely brilliant. If you haven't already, guys, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. It does help me out massively. It just helps the YouTube algorithms to recommend my videos a little bit more. And if you like this content and you want to support me, you can do from 99p a month by becoming a channel member. Click that join button. Um, Discord server, you know all about that. We've got a really friendly community over there. You're more than welcome to join us over there. That would be brilliant. And that is all I've got to say. That is the end, guys. Seven days. Seven streams. Well, eight streams, actually. I shall see you, hopefully, on Thursday with Scotland Express. Thanks for your company over the last week. And see you next time.